Hallelujah, Yahweh. Praise you, Yahweh. In the name of the Son, the mighty God, you, Yahweh. Benum Sophie, you, Yahweh. Selah. In this particular video, we're going to discuss mixing doctrines, mixing ideology, and going off. And why it's important to follow the teachings, preachings, and the walk of Yahweh bin Yahweh to the best of your ability. Praying to the entire planet Earth. It's all mine. And uh, all who are righteous, all who accept to be righteous, all that are wicked and who seek to change uh, can inherit eternal life simply by receiving me. To receive me is to receive my father Yahweh and to receive his law. Well, just to straighten the record, because as I mentioned, I think at the beginning of the show, there is some confusion. There are two groups that consider themselves to be black Israelites. The one, the Yahweh's down here, headed by you, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. There's another group that I'm sure you're familiar with in Chicago. What can you tell me about them? I think they're headed by a fellow named Ben Ami Carter. I'm not in any way uh, responsive to them, uh, except they come from America, as the rest of our people do. Um, their tenets, their beliefs, their practices, uh, we have absolutely nothing to do with them. Um, whatever anyone would want to know about that group, I would suggest they let a representative from that group speak for them. I'm here to speak of my teachings from Yahweh. One of the reasons I think this is kind of important is... What can you tell me about them? I think they're headed by a fellow named Ben Ami Carter. I'm not in any way uh, responsive to them, uh, except they come from America, as the rest of our people do. Um, their tenets, their beliefs, their practices, uh, we have absolutely nothing to do with them. Um, whatever anyone would want to know about that group, I would suggest they let a representative from that group speak for them. I'm here to speak of my teachings from Yahweh. One of the reasons I think this is kind of important, and I think... Okay, let me stop him right there. So, basically, this is Yahweh bin Yahweh saying he is not affiliated with any other Israelite group. At no point in time did he say you couldn't study with someone. He disliked someone. Separating the bone from the grizzle. He didn't say that. He said he is not affiliated with any other Hebrew Israelite group. Now, I know that's hard for some people to accept, but that's the way it is. Now, why is this important? Hold on. We're going to go to scripture and we're going to find out why. So we're going to go to Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom, your understanding in the sight of nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Why is this important? Because Yahweh bin Yahweh is the book. He is the King James Bible. He is the Torah. So when he speaks, we are to follow and to do to the best of our abilities. He said he is not affiliated with any other group. Our wisdom is to follow the book. The book is Yahweh Ben Yahweh. So, we'll talk about this in a nutshell. So, when you're mixing ideology mixing doctrine and going off, then what you are doing is you're trying to outsmart your own self. You have a lot of learned brothers out here who fall too much on their scriptorial knowledge and their wisdom of the Bible, but they're not keeping it simple. See, this reminds me of when Moses led our ancestors out of the land of Egypt. And they went into their own land and they built the golden calf and started worshiping Baal. Our people, we love to mix doctrine and ideology. We love doing that. We are to follow the teachings of Yahweh bin Yahweh because he is the book, the King James Bible, 
the Torah. And when he makes a statement like the one that he made, I cry the best of my ability to follow it. I like a lot of brothers out there in the Hebrew Israelite community, but that doesn't mean that I'm affiliated with them. And that doesn't mean there's something wrong with not being affiliated with them. Because this is who the son of Yahweh was. See, you got a lot of brothers out there who disagree with that, but they don't want to follow the son of Yahweh, but they want to make it as if somebody else said it. It's if I said it. I didn't say it. He said it. Yahweh bin Yahweh said it. This is very similar to my teachings that I did, my series on Yahweh, the son of Yahweh. Yahweh bin Yahweh said he was the son of Yahweh. And I had to show and prove this. So when I say something that Yahweh bin Yahweh said out of his mouth, it's because I heard it out of his mouth. And it can't be taken away. So I'm going to start up another series in which brothers and sisters are going off. And this is happening so much. We got all of the think tanks out there. We got all of the brothers that know scripture up and down. They can throw a paragraph at you. They can break A, B, C, and D down. But you're outsmarting yourself. Stick to the simple and that's following the teachings and preachings and the walk to the best of your ability of Yahweh bin Yahweh. That's all you have to do. You don't have to come write a paragraph to me. You don't have to come throw some scripture out there really being slick grandstanding and clout chasing. You don't, you don't need to do that. Especially if I've talked to you before. So... I wasn't going to do this, but I got some more information on some more brothers and sisters who are mixing doctrine with the knowledge of Yahweh. And I'm going to have to put them, guess what, on the forefront to show those coming into this knowledge that it's important that you stick to the teachings of the son of Yahweh. And you're supposed to notice those who are going off. And if you can't see it, and if you don't want to talk about it, and if you want to hide it, somebody has to do it. I want to say peace and shalom.